these Leo and Sagittarius are all fire elements. And what they all have in common is that they are full of energy and drive. More than the rest, more than the air, more than the water, more than the earth. And when I say energy and drive, I mean that there's also different kind of emphasis, emphasis in their life. Their values, their priorities, their ideas, what drives them, what moves them, what interests them is always going to be something different than what will interest the water and the earth sides. That's what makes, that's one of the things that make people very, very different is the element. What is the most dominant element? Very important for me to repeat that not everyone is very, very pure of his element. That is why discussing a particular sign, you may say, well, 80 to 85 percent matches my sign from what I've read and what I've described. That is because there are other factors that contribute to the individuality, to the personality, and a great deal has to do with the hour. The hour is very significant to the uniqueness of the individual, but a great deal, perhaps 75 to 80 percent of what you will hear tonight, will belong to Sagittarius. What is the difference between Leo or Aries, Leo and Sagittarius? They're all fire signs. There's quite a few differences, even though they share a lot in common because they all belong to the fire element. Comes along the Sagittarius, which we'll be speaking about tonight. They're the more adaptable. They are the ones that are capable of making the changes. They're, they're the ones that are going to say, stop. I have a different idea. I want to argue about it. I do not necessarily agree with what was said and what was done before. See? But with the same drive, with the same energy, but from a totally different angle. Very adaptable and very capable too, in a different way, in expressing all that fire. So, Sagittarius begins November 22nd approximately and goes up until December 21st. As I said earlier, he's the third one in the fire element. Because of the fire element, they're very optimistic. So is Aries a little bit, and so is Leo, but Sagittarius is the most optimistic of all the signs. When it comes to optimism, they are the optimists. Freedom loving, good humor, honest, straightforward, intellectual, philosophical. But they can also be blindly optimistic and careless, irresponsible, superficial, tactless, and restless. There's other likes and dislikes, but this is just a general description of Sagittarius. We're going to get much more into the fine details of the man, the woman, the child, the boss. And as I said earlier, a great deal can be learned from this. But the goal is not to just know about it, is to see where a Sagittarius has to work on himself. And for us, we're not Sagittarius to get to know him a little bit better so we don't blame him or accuse him wrongly the more we know about a sign the better we will have a, a, a time the easier it will be for us to get along with him so how many Sagittarius do we have today? I know some are not saying powerful element, as we said, it's full of energy and drive, but fire can burn, right? Fire can be destructive, so we will see the ups and downs, the strengths and the weaknesses of Sagittarius. This particular sign combines a happy disposition with an eagerness to talk. The reason I, I, I write that is because I, I found in my experience the Sagittarius is, in some ways is similar to Gemini. He is the mutable sign, he's the adaptable, where air is the adaptable, well, I'm sorry, where Gemini is the adaptable of the air. The Sagittarius is the adaptable, mutable, changeable of the fire. And there's a certain tendency and an enjoyment to talk. And always with a smile, with a happy disposition. His speech can be very direct and outspoken. Now Aries is outspoken too. And so is Scorpio. Remember Scorpio, we just talked about Scorpio a few weeks ago. The difference is that Scorpio can be very brutal and unsensitive when he's direct. Sagittarius doesn't mean to hurt you. He's so innocent when he's outspoken. In his tactless ways, he means no harm. 
maybe actually trying to be funny without realizing that it's hurting someone's feelings by being so outspoken by telling him what he thinks of you. He's totally oblivious to his blunt speech, completely oblivious. He really thinks either he's funny or he just wants to be honest. And that is another trait that we'll see about Sagittarius later on. They're so honest and therefore so sincere that they don't think that they're hurting anybody's feelings. And they feel terrible when they find out that they've hurt somebody's feelings. They're honest, frank, and earnest. Most of them are extroverts. Everybody here know what an extrovert is, right? We have introverts that are more closed and reserved and stay at home. And then we have the extroverts that are more sociable. They like outdoor life. They enjoy being around people. They're very confident of themselves. And as a result of this ability to interact with people and their confidence, they love to give advice, free, free advice to others. Even if they're not talking, they're, they're great idealists. They will be dreaming and aiming for their highest goals. Capricorn is also a very ambitious sign, which we'll talk about. But here we're talking about an idealist. You know what an idealist is? He may not necessarily carry out this idea. He has ideas, he has a cause that he will champion. He's dreaming about it, wanting it. He may pursue it a little bit, not necessarily will achieve it. But they definitely are thinkers of how to do certain things, how to get things done better. Especially if it's a very important cause. They'll talk a lot about it. They have a restless nature. This is again fire. They can't just stay at home and do nothing. They're restless. But most of the time, they're cheerful and friendly. They can talk to friends and enjoy being around people. They love that which is exciting and don't mind at all if there is an element of risk involved. Now, th this is very similar to Aries. And uh, what the two of them share in common is that they love challenges. Even if it may involve some element of risk or danger. Many of them that belong to this sign love speed, fast cars, and roller coasters. Now, I'm sure if you go to a roller coaster, you will see a Gemini too. And I'm sure you will see an occasional Taurus who wants to have some fun. And I'm sure you will find uh, other signs too. Leo's and Aries for sure. It doesn't mean that only <laughs> you go to Disneyland and all, it's only full of Sagittarius and the roller coasters. But uh, you've heard of daredevils, daredevils with those bikes jumping over the mountains and the hills. You have to have guts. Now there's a lot of signs that have guts, but some signs are not crazy. Right? A Capricorn will not do something that's crazy, even if there's one percent chance of danger to his life. Especially if he's married and has kids, you would never think of it. Now, remember Bush, the older Bush? He says, I want one more jump. He meant a parachute. He wanted to reminisce what it felt like jumping out of an airplane in World War II, I think it was. I want one more jump, because you know, he knows how long he's going to live. And of course, that involved risk, no matter how good of a parachute it is, but he's a Gemini. So he wasn't so afraid. And after all, his kids are grown up anyway. I don't know how much he cares for his wife. And, you know, that's another story. So, you know, that could be a factor too. You know, who knows? You know. Sagittarius is very brave. And that bravado, I guess we can use, helps him to be able to deal with dangerous situations. 